Jason Sinatra, Wishmaster, Midway Sports. I live the life, the life, the bright lights, the tight, the crowd lights, where you at, ballers? Ladies love me and men, they wanna be me, they pay to come see me, where you at, ballers? I live the life, the life, the bright lights, the tight, the crowd lights, where you at, ballers? Ladies love me and men, they wanna be me, they pay to come see me, where you at, ballers? Bones flash and the questions they ask, is he confessing at last, it's like a no look bad. Break fast and dash the crash boards I'm facing power forwards and down is how I throw it like I'm Tracy McGrady, I'm crazy with that one ladies And the team that I love is the one that overpay me ladies Love me, they adore and they cheer, they like stack Custom shake boards like Shaq I'm uncontested like free throws and please the game needs so Better check your ankles homie, you gonna need those Cause I'ma shake you down now, shake and bake you down now You are my grass, the crowd to get loud now Better men have found out, tryna guard mine I spot up on baseline, rise and lace for my This house on mine, but I'ma bring it back midway Sinatra and which way, I play like that kid play welcomes you to the following presentation of the WNBA. It's the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. And tonight, we'll see the Chicago Sky as they go up against the Atlanta Dream. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. What do you think are the biggest challenges for a coach in today's WNBA? You know, I think it's not even about the X's and O's. I think it's about keeping the attention of your team. There are so many distractions out there. Plus, the season is so long. The travel, it's grueling. It takes a lot out of you. So create ways to engage with your team. That's so important. I've got something similar, guys, and that's connecting with your team, getting your players to trust you. Honestly, I think the biggest challenges aren't related to X's and O's. It's about people skills. Now here's Vandersloot. Here's Quigley. Here's Golson. Green with the rebound. Here's Sims. Outside Dupree. Clock at six. Down low. And she floats it in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Veterans like Dupree usually have an advanced feel for the game, and that's part of what allows her to find her open teammates. Here's Copper. Pass to Dolson. Inside. And the Dream bucket ball. counts, and she is on her way to the line to try to make First it a three-point play. Well, in the 2020 bubble, Kalia Copper became one of the league's most improved players, averaging 15 points per game, which was more than double her previous career high. Copper, that production carried over to the 2021 season as she was named to her first WNBA All-Star team. A pretty incredible to have that to jump in production. It's just really not something you see happen too often in a player's sixth season in the league. But it's just great to see uh, Copper thrive individually and as a teammate and continue to grow her game. Up top, Vandersloot. She's covered by Sims. And there's the three-second violation. Three violation. At the the ball. And first quarter of action, two minutes in. Pass to Dupree. Carter. Outside Sims. Shoots over Vandersloot. 
And it's Sims missing. That he should be thanking her for that miss. To the paint. Here's Parker. Second chance shot. Rejected by Candace Dupree. Shot blocking often comes down to timing. And Dupree seems to know all about that. The second chance effort. And so she earns a trip to the line. The official saw the contact. First and she'll shoot two. Teams first. First well, team you allow ball. someone to get to the rim like Shooting that. Really, so that's your only option. Yeah, Williams. free throws are always two better shots. than a layup. I, I would agree with that. That's her first trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. And Courtney Williams, a solid scoring guard. Moving without the ball so well, she can attack you on the bounce or maybe coming off of a screen. And good on the second, so she makes both. And with Williams, it's that off-ball movement you talked about. You know, you pair that with a mid-range game, it makes her really hard to guard. Yeah, she will light you up from the mid-range. Williams has improved every year she's been in the league. She's got a great feel for the game, and I think she's only going to continue to improve. Now here's Williams. Six points for her. Pass to Sims. Carter. Up top, Williams. Shot clock at five. Good work defensively by Candace Parker. Chicago trailing here. Left side, Quigley. Right side, Parker. Shoots over Carter. And the basket Candace. by Parker. Well, from this area, it's almost a layup for Parker, an accurate shooter who uses all parts of the floor. On the wing, Kennedy Carter. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Pass to Williams. Shoots over Quigley. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. To the middle. Dolson. That's good. And Dolson. so Courtney Vandersloot gets the assist. Courtney well, Vandersloot. There's somebody open on the court with the same jersey on. Vandersloot will find her incredible court vision. Outside Sims. Nice defense by Courtney Vandersloot. Chicago in the lead. It's stolen by Elizabeth Williams. Carter with it. Vandersloot covering. Outside Sims. Rebounded by Copper. I like the D. They weren't about to swing the door open and let her cruise in for the layup. Good job. Pass to Vandersloot. She uses Courtney the glass on the layup. Even against tough interior defense, Vandersloot still makes it work. She never time gives time up when she's out there. Atlanta calls timeout. Oh, the coach needs to get him back into a flow offensively. Things have slowed down. And they're starting kind of to, to force their shots. Yeah, things have snowballed on them here. You know, the misses just started piling up. I like this timeout to sort of calm down the team and get reset.
Now so it's both teams making substitutions here. here. Side Hayes. Williams. The dream again can't hit. They haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Now here's Vandersloot. Up top quickly. A floater. And the layup is good. The soft touch on the floater quickly makes it look so effortless. Atlanta trailing here. Now Hayes. Outside Williams. To halt the run. And she takes it up and lays it in. They'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can make. DeShields Shields with it. Shoots the three. Can't hit that one. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the sky. Up three. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And off we go. A close game now entering the second quarter. And when you consider how the sky are doing, Guys, what are your thoughts? Simple. Defense, defense, defense so far. And they have really clamped up. Say it one more time, Tim. Defense. Defense. Every shooter that challenges their defense has had a hand in their face. So many great organizations in this league. But does one stand out as the best franchise? If I have to pick just one, Seattle. Great ownership group, a healthy amount of titles, superstars that have been there a long time, and awesome fans. They check all the boxes. I can't go wrong with the Storm, but I'll take the Lynx. Uh, they have a strong team culture, an ability to turn late picks into stars, and of course, a bunch of banners from the 2010s. On the wing, Allie Quigley. She's covered by Strickland. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Good on the shot. Their crisp passing has opened things up offensively. Yeah, it makes the game easy. Ten straight points off of an assist. Um, that's impressive. Now here is Hayes. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. And that one's good. Hawkins. Shrewd play by Strickland getting the ball to a ready shooter. She's playing terrific, unselfish basketball. Here's Vandersloot. Outside Quigley. Green with the rebound. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Here's Hawkins, lays it up and makes it in. Don't let Hawkins catch you snoozing defensively because she has the quickness to blow by you. Pass to Quigley, Hebert. Quarter two and we're about two minutes in. To the inside, Quigley. That shot off the mark. Great D that time from Shakina Strickland. Side Hayes. Six to shoot. Pass to Hawkins. Strickland guarded by Quigley. And it's Strickland missing. On offense, here the sky. In the shortened 2020 season, Diamond to Shields was hampered by injuries. Only appearing in 13 games and was unable to get back to full strength. She always knows where her teammates are going to be, and she'll have that ball there waiting for them. 
Atlanta Time calls timeout. And by the start of the 2021 season, DeShields had recovered from her injuries and was back to being a leading scorer. Yeah, and while she's seen as a scorer, DeShields does so much more on the floor. She's a willing passer and an excellent rebounder. Billings, guarded by Dolson. Pass to Carter. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Got to do more than this to stop Carter. She's uh, dependable at fighting through aggressive coverage. Here's Vandersloot. Now Dolson. Fader on the way. And it's Billings with the rebound. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. A tremendous shot blocker. Golden blank at six five and defensive IQ lead the swats. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come Candace from very Parker. close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Now here's Carter. The shot misses. So Chicago will take it the other way. Here's the Shields. Pass to Dolson. That one Stephanie goes. Dolson. Count it. And to see courtesy of the Shields, you know, DeShields. she's really known as a scorer, but, but Diamond is also solid at moving the basketball. Outside Hayes, Carter, inside, and the basket by Debris. Oh, I love that vision, guys. What a great job threading that pass into the lane. To the paint, Parker. That's good, and so Courtney Vandersloot gets the assist. Great teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. They're playing as one. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. Great team basketball. Carter misses. Chicago leading. Outside, Parker. Pass to Vandersloot. And here's Copper. Shot clock at six. Outside, Parker. Off target from outside. Now here's Carter. Pass to Dupree. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Well, Dupree doesn't shy away from playing physical, and that pays off on contact finishes. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and game clock. To Shields, defended by Carter. And here's Copper. And Candace Dupree pulls it down. Here's Carter. And can't cash in from close range. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going on here. Sky out in front, leading by a point. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway.
Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Williams has been such a difference maker here. This is the type of quality performance we expect to see from her. She's always setting the bar high for herself, and sometimes I think we kind of just get numb to how good she really is sometimes. And it's so hard to perform when everyone is keyed in on you. You know, to be able to play like she has with that kind of reputation, what can you say about it? It's impressive. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. Here's Dolson. That's good. Stephanie and it's Candace Dolson. Parker with the assist. It's really a sign of a great player. Doesn't let a, a bump here. Contact there. Stopper. Nice job by Dolson. Williams with it. Working on Dolson. Odyssey Sims for three. Drains the three-pointer. It's a tie ball game. I saw a little confusion amongst the D uh, as to who was supposed to be guarding her. And what I like about Odyssey Sims is her veteran leadership. She's someone that's capable of orchestrating the offense as well as someone you can rely on in the locker room. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. To the middle. Here's Dupree. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Slewed outside. Teardrop shot. Great D that time from Candace Dupree. And the front office and coaching staff love having Sims on their squad. She's someone that can offer a ton of insight to her younger teammates. An incredible career for Odyssey Sims. Just such a, a smart player as well. Her teammates watch her play, learn from what she does. And, and she's the type of player you want from the locker room. She's seen everything in this league. You just love a player like her. She's been the floor general at the offensive end. She has been on it today, just doing a great job of keeping that ball moving. Here's Williams. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Vandersloot outside. Pass to Parker. Copper. Now here's Vandersloot. Six on the shot clock. Now Dolson. She's guarded by Williams. Fades and shoots. Yep, that one goes. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. Now here's Williams. Eight points for her. High post Elizabeth Williams. Pass to Williams. Shoots over quickly. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. You know, there are certain players who shoot much better off a pass. Williams is one of them. Allows her to set her feet. She called the sky. 2021 was the historic 25th season of WNBA basketball, and the league did an outstanding job celebrating this great achievement. Yeah, the game between the Sparks and Liberty honoring the league's first ever game. Also, between those two teams, and that, that was awesome to see. Yeah, and I enjoyed the league announcing the 25 best players of the WNBA's first 25 years. Some current stars, some legends. The WNBA did a fantastic job honoring its history. Vandersloot. The layup miss. The dream trail. Sims with it. Stevens covering. Outside Sims. Shoots over Vandersloot. And it's Sims missing. And so it's Chicago with it. 
Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Pass to Stevens. Soft touch on the glass. That's a great example of Stevens' comfortability and focus around the basket. So effective down there. Now here's Williams. Ten points for her. And that one's good. Hawkins. And look how well she led her in there with that pass. Now here's Vandersloot. She's covered by Sims. Outside Quigley. Williams with the steal. Here's the break. Pushing it up. Hawkins misses. Chicago leading. Hebert outside. Back to Vandersloot. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Quigley. Six to shoot. High arcing shot. Ooh, no luck on that one. And the dream going the other way now. Strickland outside. Sims. Vandersloot defending. Strickland outside. Outside Sims. For the lead. The rebound by the sky. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. You're not going to find many better passers in the game than Vander I mean, she is a coaching team. This staff just loves having her out there. Someone who can run the offense and get the most out of all of her teammates on the floor. comes to Vandersloot, she's got plenty of records to back up her point guard credibility. Yeah, she set the WNBA record for assists in a single season, and she's actually led the league in assists a bunch of times. She can also fill it up on the points as well. If a defense isn't careful, she can easily drop 25 on them. So she hits one of two from the strike. A multiple-time All-Star, Vandersloot is such a difference maker for her squad. You can see the play of her teammates elevate when she's involved. Out of bounds, it'll go to the sky. The ball goes to Chicago. And for Atlanta, Monique Billings. Now Vandersloot. Five points in the game. Outside, Stevens. Pass to Vandersloot. Shot clock at six. Doesn't get it to drop for her. Great D that time from Shakina Strickland. Well, they're in the lead, but, but she's still been frustrated offensively. Gets snatched up. Billings. Persistent pays off as they finally hit a shot. She's got a great read of where that miss was going, and that enabled her to be the first player to it and get the putback. Here's Stevens. Laid in with a All nice touch off the glass. I admire how Stevens relentlessly crashes the boards. It's, it's pretty special for a young player. And a foul called on Courtney Vanders. First personal foul. That team is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Now into the lineup for Chicago. Williams with it. Ten points for her. Over Parker. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And we have just finished the third quarter and a tight game we've got the sky they're up by three and we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started and 
And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. She showed us she's got a little point guard in her with this tremendous setup. That was a terrific pass, no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by her. Come on, fans. It's the okay, fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one with both sides coming to play so far. Outside Hayes. Pass to Dupree. Williams. Parker with the double team. Clock at six. And that one's good. Hayes. As her career has unfolded, Hayes has really improved her long range game. Outside to Shields. Here's Dolson. Copper defended by Carter. Vandersloot outside. Pass to DeShields. Dolson. It's good. He assists that time from Diamond DeShields. Diamond DeShields. With the size advantage as big as it was right there, that's exactly what she should do in that situation. Take it strong to the middle. Now here's Williams. Hayes covered by DeShields. And here's Billings. Pass to Williams. Oops, there's a 24-second violation, so they'll turn it over. Oh, no. You see, those are the kind of errors that can make or break you in a game like this, and it'll drive your coach crazy. Chicago with the ball. Two-point game. Vandersloot outside. Copper. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Great D that time from Kennedy Carter. She hasn't really done much on the offensive end, but she has worked with the team to help them get the lead. Yeah, she's one of the main reasons this game is tied up, and I would say she's done her part to keep them in it. Here's Copper. Back to Vandersloot. Great D that time from Tiffany Hayes. Right side, Carter. Pass to Williams. Down low, Dupree. Nice pass, led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. As a big, sometimes your height is a huge help passing-wise. It allows players like Williams to get a clear view of open players. Here's Copper. It's over Carter. Chicago again missing. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Back to Williams. To the paint. And Williams gets it to go. That's their third straight make off an assist. And it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Now here's Parker. And here's Copper. Pass to DeShields. Can't cash in the 10 foot jumper. Atlanta leading. Outside Hayes. Williams inside. Vandersloot defending. Williams can't get it to go. Back to Parker. To the middle. Here's Copper. That's in. Coming up an assist from Candace Parker. What a big time play. Copper should get some gold for that one. Showing some poise and draining the important shot. And the dream call time here. I think the coach has to be frustrated by their lack of production offensively. And I can't blame them. They're getting the looks, but the shots just aren't falling. 
And it's at the point where this slump is going to take a mental toll on them. It's a good time out to try to keep them from getting too discouraged. And they've gotten the looks, they've gotten open, but they, they just can't get them to fall. Just a tiny lead for them. A chance to make it a little bigger right here, though. Pass to Carter. Inside, Dupree. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. One of the league's more consistent scorers, Candace Dupree can get buckets in just about any situation. Now here's Vandersloot. Now quickly to the wing, right side. And there's the whistle. That goes on Goldsmith. That's her first foul. Yeah. She might not have the long range ability of some other players in this league, but she'll knock down open ones like that. Now here's Williams. D right on her. Williams. It's good. The assist that time from Courtney Williams. Never afraid of the moment with her height and skills. Williams wants the ball. A great option late. Pass to Parker. Here's Dolson. Good for another bucket. She's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Clutch by Dolson. She's been in every big game from college to overseas with the WNBA. Dolson with no fear with a big moment. And it's Sims missing. The sky trail. To the inside. Parker. Yes! They get the go-ahead bucket. Yes. Wow. I mean, come on. Is there anyone else in the world you want taking a big shot? Candace Parker lives for these situations, and she's seen every big situation. Yes! A player who thrives during key moments. Williams is hard to shut down. Her ball handling abilities get her out of jams and get her looks. Timeout called the sky. toughness carries her to success in big moments. Now here is Sims. Looking to get it going. It's rebounded by Vandersloot. What appeared to be an easy two points just went straight out the window. Pass to Dolson. Out to Vandersloot. He can't get that on the ball. The D by Candace Dupree. And the dream call time here. Guys, what do you think? No need to rush them. Still plenty of time for them to get off a good shot. You nailed it, Tim. And I'd say that whatever their favorite play is, now's the time to rush. 
run it. Yeah, Brian, just, just run the play your team's most comfortable with coming back. taking this one. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that'll wrap it up.